In less than 10 days, Pope Francis will be in Korea for a five-day visit that will mark his first trip to Asia, and he'll be running on a very tight schedule. Our Park Ji Won has more. This will be Pope Francis's first visit to Asia since his inauguration as Pontiff in February 2013. Upon his arrival on Thursday, the Pope is set to meet with President Park Geun-hye. As for the rest of his schedule, he will take part in a celebratory mass in Daejeon, where he will meet with around 20 youth representatives from 17 Asian countries. He will also attend the beautification mass of 124 Korean martyrs who lost their lives mostly during the 19th century under severe religious persecution. The mass will be the largest event during the post visit to Korea held at Gwanghwamun Square in central Seoul with nearly 1,900 priests and some 200,000 Catholic faithfuls attending. The pontiff will meet with the Asian bishops in Hemi, located in the country's southwest region, followed by a concluding mass for the 6th Asian Youth Day. And Pope Francis is wrapping up his visit with a mass for peace and reconciliation in Seoul, inviting nearly 1,000 people, including former victims of Japan's wartime sexual enslavement during the early 20th century. The preparatory committee for his visit says he will also meet bereaved families and victims of the April ferry disaster upon the request of the families. We delivered the message immediately to Rome and received a positive response. We will be inviting families of the victims to a mass held on August 15th. The Pope is expected to give words of peace and healing not only to the bereaved families, but the entire nation. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.